last time we talked about emerging prophetic people and the relationship with their pastor. How about emerging prophetic people and their family life? I mean, okay. <laughs> because right. sometimes it can be sparks flying. <laughs> All right, that's good, that's good. I think that, um, you know, God makes it clear in the Word that some people are called to be single and some are called to be married. And um, those he, that he calls to be married, yes. and these two shall become one, and often there are children involved as well. Mm. If that's all by God design, mm. and I'm speaking in the context that it is, and yes. that you are right. uh, ordained by God to be with your partner, with your children, etc., mm. mm. then understand that there is a twin role going on here. Okay. There's your calling in the prophetic. There's your calling in the ministry expression. And then there's your calling within the context of that family. Great, great. Now, these are not the same thing. They mm. come through the same person. Wow. And the source of, of, the source of wisdom for both, the source of life uh, for both functions, yes. all come from the Lord. It all comes from the Holy Spirit. Yes. You, you, you're not more spiritual when you're ministering and prophesying yes. than you are when you're cuddling your child or, or encouraging your wife or husband. You, you, one is not a more spiritual operation than the other. That's Be so good. Well, because we're, what we're called to, mm. we're called to be in submission to the Holy Spirit. And Period. to represent Father's heart. In whatever environment. Whatever environment or okay. conversation, yep. whether I'm talking to over the back door fence, back, yep. over the back fence to my yep. next door neighbor, yes. I'm yes. still called to represent accurately my Father wow. in that environment. Wow, wow, wow. wow. And, and one of the deeply convicting things that the Lord spoke to me about many times. I'd like to sell you, I only had to learn it once. That's <laughs> not true. Probably, I'm t just about turning 75, been married 56, no. 56? 52, <laughs> no, 52 years. Um, and, and I would have to say, I've learned it hundreds of times. The Lord has said, and I get aside, and I'm getting into really powerful prophetic insights yeah yeah and suddenly it stops and the Lord reminds me of how I spoke to one of my kids or Margaret or an attitude I showed and he said and he'll just ask the question did that really represent me now you can either toughen it out and say oh wow well, it was a mutual thing and that and that and excuse the life out of it mm. or you can go to that person and say I'm really sorry that 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 did not express the spirit of God at all. That did not express how I really am and how I really feel. You mm. see, never mm. lose sight of the fact that God's objective in you and in everyone else is humility of spirit. Yeah, it's it's that sense, and God will often use. Oh, I'll correct that. Most often, <laughs> most often, it's our marriage partner Come or one on. of our Come children on. yeah. that confronts us in the most inescapable way. Um, and isn't it amazing <laughs> that, 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 that when you're with a ministry colleague and they can say something that rattles you and you smile and, and show your understanding <laughs> and then your, your child or your spouse will say something similar, and you what? What do you mean by that? No, no, I don't love it. And suddenly the attitude changes. Why is that? You've got to be careful. Which one do you value the most? Come on. And Come which on. one deserves to see Father's heart Come through on. you the most? So good. So, so and I find this. <laughs> the, the God that created heaven and earth before there was any, and the, the God that placed me into that marriage before I even knew the person I was going to marry. Yep. In his foreknowledge of who he wanted me to be, 
place me into that marriage, knowing that the iron sharpening iron concept was going to be more effective in that grouping than any other grouping I would ever face. And then secondly, he knew that whatever he did it within me yep. would be his primary channel okay. for what he wanted to do in the spouse or the children. And so we Brilliant. become his gateway. We become his channel of love and kindness and goodness. And I think one of the things you have to keep in mind, our responsibility is not the outcome. Our responsibility is our attitude in the process. That's excellent. Um, God doesn't judge me according to the outcome. Mm. He judges me according to my heart, my attitude in that process. You said a lot, I think it's gold. I've got something stirring in me, uh, which I think we'll lean into in the coming session because I, I think it's a great, um, it's a great thought that in the family life, sometimes these things that arise really, <laughs> we're husband or we're wife, we're not prophet or, <laughs> and that can, that, that can be really good to keep us grounded and away from this pride that creeps in do you know who I am, even in your family? So we're going to lean into that a bit more. So um, come back for the next video. Bless you.